Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Jen Sukfong Lee uh, from The Shadow List, a book published by uh, Wolsack and Wynn, a Canadian publisher, in 2021. This is a brand new book. Um, and the poem I'm going to read is midway through the collection and is entitled, Yesterday You Had the Best of Intentions. Yesterday you had the best of intentions. A glass of water, tepid and undrunk in the bedroom air, a body beside you whose movements are so small and so slow you cannot measure them, muddy, thick hours spent listening to the night pass. This is the long rolling of time, that liquid dim that breaks over the neighbors' rooftops and leaks through a crack in those curtains you have never hemmed. The broken lamp beside the garage buzzing, a raccoon walking upside down, claws tapping and tapping on the gutter it clings to. You squint, the continued watch in the night, the black hurts your eyes, you know what you're watching for. There are secrets, indecent and jagged like a stranger's teeth biting the thin line of your clavicle. You could whisper them now and he would not hear you. But no, you should wait. Nighttime lulls, that soft enabling dark. Outside, the first chickadee sings. You have twenty minutes, maybe thirty before the sky lifts, burning, and kills what you have been staring at all night long. Uh, that was Yesterday You Had the Best of Intentions by Jen Sukfong Lee from The Shadow List, published by uh, Wolsack and Wynn, Canadian publisher, in 2021. Um, if you enjoy this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, Jen Sukfong uh, Lee, and you will discover she's actually also a novelist. So, um, and per perhaps in Canada, better known as a novelist, this is her book, first book of poetry. So um, please do check that out for more information about her and as well as where to purchase this book um, and more information about other projects that I'm currently working on. If you are, um, well, hopefully you're finding some joy in these poems and these readings. And if you would like to support me in some small way, you can like with a thumbs up these videos or share them on social media or comment below. All these things help the YouTube algorithm find these videos and share them with more people. And uh, you could subscribe to this channel as another option. Uh, we are, I believe, at the time of this recording, still hovering at 99 subscribers. And uh, it may seem like a very small target to hit, but I would love to hit 100 <laughs> and then uh, move on from there. Um, there's no big money in any of this. There's no money really at all. But this is my part of my way of connecting with the larger literary community and celebrating the work of other poets, other writers out there, and uh, a way of discovering for myself what's in these books. Uh, some of them I have known for many years. Uh, I've read these books uh, over and over again. Others I have just discovered or am in the process of discovering. Um, sometimes they arrive in the mail the week of, and I pull them in. Other times they will sit on a shelf for some time until I can get to them and uh, discover what I've been missing. So um, in, regardless of how the path happens, how the journey happens, I am grateful for the opportunity to adventure along and explore all these different works, uh, all these different poems, and uh, be part of that celebration. So if you would like to uh, support these presses and these poets, please do check out these videos and check out the descriptions for links to the publisher's press to publisher site to, to order the books for yourself. Um, I think that's about it for us this time. So I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And until next time, um, well, I wish you all the very best with your own creative journeys and your own explorations. Um, may you find joy and happiness and inspiration in whatever you're, you're navigating um, and uh, find a, a path through whatever, um, <laughs> whatever confusion the 
the the ink on the page is presenting you at the moment. May you find that poem on the other side. Um, and I wish the same for myself too, as I plod my way through my own current manuscripts and, and projects. Um, so until next time, take care, keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged with the world, keep building those bridges and connecting with others. And we'll be back again soon with more poetry and more reading. Until next time, all the best. Um, until then, goodbye. <laughs>